Logger John, brought to you by Big J's Prune Juice, the logger's choice. Logger John here. It's a Sunday morning, uh, May the second. It's about uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Cloudy, kind of cool. Yesterday uh, morning, we woke up to uh, snow on the ground. And uh, it was sunny yesterday, but it was cool. And right now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm out for a morning walk. Got my dog up ahead here. And uh, just gonna go for a walk up the road. Gonna check out some uh, old cars up at the neighbors. The road is uh, the road is over there quarter ways. You have to walk through at least two two and a half hay fields. And I didn't realize how uh, wet the hay fields were. I should have known better. I got wet feet. Should have worn my rubber boots I guess. Uh, I got a lot of rain on Friday. Got like two inches of rain Thursday, Friday, and then it snowed about a half an inch uh, Friday night. So it's pretty wet out there. Oh well. So we're here at the junkyard of cars. Now these cars are a little better shape, or a little more uh, here than the cars at my place. I haven't been back here in probably 10 or 12 years is the last time I was here. We'll take a quick look around. It's a pretty cool car. And then we have another one over here. See if I can get around there. It's a farther off the road than I thought. When you drive by, you can see these from the road, so you don't think it's too far, but when you go to walk in here, especially through uh, water, <laughs> a cool car. It's hard to get close. It's all prickly ash right here. Oh, this still has the motor. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah prickly ash. <laughs> I think I'd rather have uh, buckthorn than prickly ash. This is like a sedan. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Look at the way the doors open. That's kind of cool. So the one door opens normal and then the back door opens kind of like a suicide door. Kind of cool. It's cool that the motor's still there. Here's my dog. She followed me over. Here's the back. Don't see any markings on this one. Over here, you got an old piece of uh, piece of farm machinery. Looks like a cultivator. It's kind of funny. If I zoom in there, you can see the. Uh, the seat. Look at the seat. The trees growing right around it. It's been there a while. Some cool wagon wheels though. Or I don't know if they're not wagon wheels. I guess they're like steel wheels off a hay rake maybe or some kind of piece of machinery. Again the trees growing right up through the wheel. There's a truck there. It's a Fargo. I can read that right on the front it says Fargo. There's a Fargo pickup. That's pretty neat. I like the old pickups. Man, there's a bunch of parts in here. If anybody wanted to restore a bunch of old cars or something, 
you got a pretty good bumper on that Fargo pickup. It says, that looks like an N to me, A-I-N, and then it says V, or 8V with a V, not sure. Uh, still got the motor in there. There's the front of it. Oh, it does say Ford on it, right there, I think. This is Ford. It's got a good bumper too. And what do we got here? That's a cool looking old car. My dog's just hunting away there. That's a cool car. Not sure what kind that is. Look at this door. The door is like right in the tree. <laughs> ah, there's writing on it here. Uh, it's hard to make out. C O I A A. No. I'm not sure. If you guys can, I can't read that. It's kind of weird. A A I. As you can see, the cars go for a ways. <laughs> it's got a cool uh, thing on the hood. Go back. Huh. Very neat. Okay, what do we got over here? Perkley Ash. This still has the motor in it. Ah, uh, six cylinder. It's got still got the spark plugs in it. I don't know if it'll fire up. Look at the horn. I think, I think this is the horn here. It's got a cool shifter. And, yeah, I'm not sure what some of these cars are. Some guys could come in and identify these cars so easy. You know, car guys that know their cars. Unless it says on it, I'm not really sure what they are. But there, there's definitely guys that could just look at that and tell you what it is. Uh, I gotta get over here somehow. Man, I love prickly ash. Here's, well, there's not too much left of this car. It's kind of the same shape the cars are in my property. <laughs> it's really old, that one. This one's upside down. Like I say, you gotta watch where you step here. I don't wanna step on something. That's upside down. Not sure what it is. Go around the front here. Not sure. Pretty much. Now, this isn't a car over here. This is a piece of farming machinery. It's a grain binder, an old fashioned grain binder or whatever's left of it. Horses would pull that, or even a, a tractor could pull it, cut grain. Not too much left of it, but uh, the cutting bar would be here and you dry it in the back as a seat and then it would cut the grain it would go up up the roller there was a canvas right there 
and the can was would you know go around on the rollers and it would tie the the bundles of grain or sh I guess they call them sheaths of grain it would tie them in bundles anyway and s spit them out the back kind of a cool little piece of machinery anyways back to the cars I'm not sure what those are that looks like an old uh, radio or something sitting there come over here this looks like a I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not really sure what some of these cars are so maybe you guys can tell me in your comments look at this guy here I think this is I think we found the Bonnie and Clyde car I'm pretty sure this is the Bonnie and Clyde car, the original Bonnie and Clyde car, because look at it's got some bullet holes in the door. I'm just trying to look for a skeleton. I don't see any skeletons. If you look over in there, it's hard to get close as an old uh, piece of a farm machinery it's a hay mower a horse-drawn hay mower mower it looks like for cutting hay and then here you got a rear end out of a vehicle part of the drive shaft now this is quite a car here a lot of these cars are like big sedans I'll go around I'm not really sure what this is it looks like some kind of a, maybe a boiler or an old furnace or something. Yeah, I think it's like an old furnace or some kind of a, some kind of a furnace. Look at the hood on that car. It's like five feet long. It was a cool car here. It's even, uh, this one even comes with a spare tire. It's got the motor. The big six in it, straight six. It's got a pretty neat grill in it. Look at the grill. All these bumpers too are like a really good shape. Like I like the color of that. It's kind of like a grayish, bluish. Not really sure how long these have been here, but looks like a while by the looks of the trees growing up in them. Now here's a car. It's a Dodge. Oh, we got this one. We can identify this one. It's a Dodge. Right there. Dodge. Oh, it's still got a license plate. 1961. It was licensed. Ontario. <laughs> and there's even a Carway Dodge DeSale. DeSolo. Toronto. Carway... Dodge, DeSola, Toronto. Hmm, that's cool. It's a Dodge. You even got a little bit of door uh, stuff still on the door over there. That's cool. <laughs> Interesting old car. <laughs> It even says Dodge in the front. That's pretty cool. I can't believe how good the shape these bumpers are in. Like, these bumpers are really cool. And then you have like this grill part here. Still got the original light. The light over here is broken out. But man, if I was restoring stuff, people would die to have these parts. What's left over here? We have. An old uh, disc, tow behind disc here, and then uh, over there, there's some more junk. Looks like a uh, looks like a seed drill, maybe. And then we have this truck, it's a cool old truck. I'm not sure what kind of truck it is. 
Oh, it says on the back, on the tailgate, there's a tailgate in the back. Uh, Studebaker. Oh, it's a Studebaker. Baker. That's pretty cool. Come here, pup. The old Studebaker. Baker. I'm not saying that right. Studebaker. Studebaker. <laughs> You've probably all heard of those kind of trucks. They're a pretty neat old truck. But, uh, looks like it was green at one time. <clears throat> Come here, Pop. Oh, let's do the Baker truck. That's pretty cool. Motor's missing. Oh, no, the motor's still there. Kind of off to the side. Straight 6 2. Got an old uh, remains of a wash machine sitting here, and then just of course we have just various old drums and junk. Here's the car. Oh, it says on it too what it is on the side here. Deluxe, deluxe, but I'm not sure what kind of car it is. The deluxe. Still got the motor. That's a big motor, my goodness. That is like a... One, two, three, four... It's a six cylinder, but that's a big motor. Look at this thing. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. It's got a license plate on it too. 1966. There's kind of a badge right there. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what kind of car it is. Look at this. Just like peels right off the chrome. <laughs> There's a hood. I think it's that that hood might be off that car. It says it's a Chevy symbol on it, so maybe. Okay. No, I can see it now. It's not a Chev. That hood, that hood, hood over there doesn't belong to this car. It says Dodge right on the grill or right on the on the dash. Right there. Even got a sun visor. Glove box. <laughs> I don't think I can get it open though. Pretty neat old cars anyway. Okay guys, I'm not really sure what this thing is we're looking at. I can't tell you what this is. It looks like it... I'm guessing it's something to do with the railway, but I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's huge. It's big. It's been here a while. You got trees growing right up through it, but look at the big wheels at the front. You got two sets of these axles. You got a big heavy duty frame. It looks to me like it's flipped upside down, but I'm not sure. You got a wooden kind of door or whatever on the back here. It looks like there's two hookups for hydraulics or for brakes or something on there, right there. I have no idea. I'm going to step back here and have a look at it. Not sure what that is. Kind of an interesting piece of uh, machinery or whatever it is. Okay guys. Okay, I'm going to look. take one look at this car. I never came around to the front of it. Look at this car. I'm not sure what that means anything. I don't know what kind of car it is. Still got the motor. 
Look how long the hood is. That's crazy. I bet you there's somebody out there in, somewhere in the country that is looking for this for their door, for their car. Look at this. Nice piece of work here. It's just like new. It's not even a scratch on it. It's got some moss growing on it, but... That's pretty cool. Now this one actually has a tire still on it. So guys, that's the stash of cars up the road on my neighbor's place. It's about a kilometer and a half walk here to get here. It's not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna have to go home and get some dry shoes and some dry socks on. <laughs> so, let's try to count the cars we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, about thirteen or fourteen cars here, I think. And a few pieces of farm machinery. I have no idea of the story of any of these cars. I'll have to talk to my neighbor and find out. But uh, don't know why they're here. All I know is they'd be a gold mine for uh, people that are restoring old cars. Because there's a lot of pieces of chrome. Oh, it's hard to get through here. A lot of good bumpers. A lot of solid pieces. Uh, motors. Throw a bit of oil in that. Put some gas in it. Driver away. <laughs> it's just a pain in the butt where they are though. All this prickly ash and it's a real mess. An old truck over there. We didn't really look at this truck too much, I guess. Let's we'll see if I find out what kind it is. Might say in the tailgate. Or did we look? I think we did look at that. Yes, it's a Fargo. An old Fargo. I should ask my neighbor about those big wheels over here. I really like these big wheels. Just right there. I'm going to zoom in on them. You can see the one wheel right there and the other one. They'd be pretty cool to have. The only issue is the trees growing right up through them. But Okay guys, well, I'm heading back to the, my house and getting some, like I said, getting some dry socks on. <laughs> Probably should have worn my rubber boots. Now i got to walk all the way back through the fields, through the water, to the road. It feels like it's going to rain, so I better get out of here. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to me, you can uh, hit the subscribe button. And we'll have more upcoming videos. Uh, don't have a lot of wood cutting videos right now. There's going to be a few coming up, hopefully. I have some more uh, dead ash to cut on the property. This is just something a little different this time of year. So uh, every weekend there's going to be something a little, uh, a little different to show you. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. So stay tuned guys.